Well, Curtis, I guess uh, welcome to your new home, right? I mean, it's it's, it's new scene. What's 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 the feel like? I mean, kind of you know getting getting used to a new organization, all that. What's the feel right now? Um, it's not really nothing to get used to. I feel like, of course, being with the UFC, like this is a norm. So, and I was ready for that before. You know, I love cameras, I love the interviews, I love to talk to everybody. So, um, it's it's fun. It's, yeah. it's it's fun being back. I'm down the street from the house, so it's good. Can't beat that. I think a lot of people were surprised by your UFC release. I don't, I don't think that, you know, it, it's any shock to hear that people were surprised. So give me an idea. Did you ever get any insight into what what exactly happened? Um, I, I have a little bit more info now, but, you know, just, you know, I, I, for six months, I was just, oh, you're, we're going to give you something. We're not going to give you something. And then we're not going to give you anything. You're cut. So um, it's been a very, very emotional uh, roller coaster these last six to eight months so but you know I, I i have a new spot and they're taking care of me and i'll get to fight do what i love it seems like you're positive upbeat you know that sort of thing as you always are but i wonder do you go in the cage with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder is there a party that wants to show people like ah oh, y'all messed up y'all messed up oh that's that's that is the the mood for for <laughs> life now fight i'm always going to be fighting with a chip on my shoulder it's like somebody's always going to have to pay for what happened very nice you are going to get a chance to probably fight in Southern California quite a bit. They do quite a few shows down here. Is, is that kind of what you want to do, like be on all the shows that they do here, to make it that sort of thing? Or do you want to travel a little bit? You know, I would love to travel, but, you know, if, if it makes sense to have me here because I'm a local guy and I'm a draw here, I, like, I'm down. I, I, I'll definitely do it. Nice. Talk about the matchup you have here. I mean, I'm sure you weren't studying the Bellator roster while you were over in the UFC. So I wonder, you know, you get a name you've probably never heard of before. What, what was that like for you? I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this sport. I know everybody. Uh, I, I watch all the Bellator fights. I watch all the LFA fights. Um, Moses Marietta, I've been to pretty much all of his local fights because he's a local guy. So it's not going to, like I, I've said it before, it's not going to be anybody they're going to throw at me that I don't know. I'm such a fan of this sport. I match make, so I, I have to be a fan. Yeah. So I'm, uh, this, I, I've watched him. I know what he does. I know what he can do. I know what he can't do. I know what I'm going to hit him with. Let's say so. Tease it a little bit. How do you match up, or what kind of fight are we going to see? I mean, he's a technical striker as well, but you can't do that with me. You can't. You can't. It, it doesn't matter how good your striking is. I'm going to find a hole. I'm going to find a hole, and I'm going to exploit it. What do you think the feeling will be on, on fight night? I mean, like, you know, will there be nerves? You know, but like being in a new home, a new organization. I just wonder if it, if it feels different. I mean, I'm sure it'll be a little bit, but as soon as I get in there and throw that first strike, it, I'll, I'll be at home. I'll be at home. Like, I haven't not fought in eight months in over two or three years. Like I'm always fighting three to four times a year, so I'm itching. I'm ready to get in there. Yeah. Well, it's be an early start to the year. I wonder, I mean, give me an idea. 2020, lay it out. Ideally, how do things go? Uh, set the tone for knockout of the year early, like I always do for the last two, two or three years. Um, and then, you know, just beat up everybody in my way. Um, I got a hit list here, too. The hit list ain't stopped. Hit list is still here. <laughs> it, it just got you know, different different people on it. You ready to start sharing those names yet, or do you got to get a win first? Nah. Uh, MVP, Paul Daly, like those guys. You know, the Paul Daly fight, that's just, like, I'm a fan of his. So I would love to fight him. But fuck MVP. Yeah. Not a fan? Nah. What happened there? <laughs> Man, we've been scheduled so many times to fight and just the falling out. And, like, it just doesn't make sense. doesn't make sense. So it, it's either the, the way me and him have been matched and put together and the reason why it hasn't fallen out or it hasn't come together, it's never been my fault. Like, I, I've never said no to anybody, ever. And, uh, I mean, that, that, that this dude... <sighs> Man, I just, <laughs> I just fuck this dude, man. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, you got another name to worry about first, and we'll worry about that one down the line. But give me an idea. You, you play this one out in your head. How, how does this thing go? Uh, second round. Second round, you know, he, he's tough. Um, and the, the way I plan on taking this fight, he'll probably make it out of the first round, but probably not. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs>